How are you doing? I'm, I'm so thrilled to be here. It's good to see you. Yeah, you are truly gorgeous. I'm a big fan of yours. I got I to gotta ask, like, you go like 50 years ago, last picture show, Heartbreak Kid, and now we're 50 years later, you've been performing in all these great movies. How does it feel to see where the industry has gone now, where streaming and where there's like, they're making movies about everything now, where they used to have like a few pictures a year. How does it feel to like still perform in this era and, and know where we've come from as an as a industry? Well, uh, the idea for the Sybil show came from myself and a man named Jay Daniels, who was the executive producer of Moonlighting. So we presented that to Carsey Warner. They loved the idea. And, uh, and it, I think it's still on Amazon Plus. And I, where's, my, where's my residuals? Where's the, show me the money. That was a funny line in a funny movie once by yeah. Cuba Gooding. Yeah. I remember films. I remember actors. Yeah, yeah, Jerry Maguire. So tell, tell us about, tell us about the, the heartbeat, the, uh, the beating heart that's coming. Oh, the beating heart? Yeah. What, what is that about? Now you. Oh, I thought that was your next project that you had coming. Uh, well, oh, I might be doing that. <laughs> I just have to tell you now, I might be doing that. I think I get murdered in it, and then I murder someone else. And I've, I've, I've never had a chance to murder people. <laughs> So, I brought myself a Coca-Cola tonight and a little can. Because I had to make my mom a Coca-Cola every day at 11. She said, now you go in there, Sybil. You take the glass. You pour that cold Coca-Cola in there. And then put the ice in. So I brought my Coca-Cola in honor of my mom. She was beautiful and inside and out. Of course, she, she made you. And you, you're a reflection. And the last question. I the Irish in me, you know. Just, just a bit of it. But I like to say oy vey, if that's okay with you. I got I to gotta ask the last question. Uh, race to race MS. I, I know that so many people across the country have so many opinions about actors and Hollywood. How does it feel to be here with everybody and be doing something for a good cause and not for all the glamour, like, like just be genuine trying to help people less fortunate? Well, I think the biggest challenge we have right now is that pro-choice is being cha is challenged. I led um, two marches on Washington for pro-choice, and one on LBGTQ. Only back then we just called it gay and lesbian, and they didn't want me to carry the banner. And I said, "Would the Martin would would uh, the Reverend Martin Luther King, Jr. have had?" If he, would he have refused to march with me because of the color of my skin? Because he was, he was the real deal. I was there at the dedication of the National Civil Rights Museum, very proud to have uh, donated to it, and very glad it's there. Thank you, Sybil. Big fan. Keep doing it. We'll keep on watching. I'm going to say one thing that Bruce Willis used to say in Moonlighting all the time. Never shave.